Double Cross by Cat Stewart and Stephen Hoover. Fade in, exterior, desert, day. A fireball sun scorches from the center of the sky. Short shadows fall in the dried cracks of blood-soaked sand next to Cole Downey, 22. Scruffy, handsome, scrappy build. He's been shot through the shoulder with a large gauge round. His wrists are scored from a ripped zip tie. His breathing is labored. His lips are cracked. He's unconscious. A raspy cough. Cole's eyes flutter open and he sees flashback, mirage. The shadow of a man standing over him. Baby crying. Lexi, hold on, I'm coming! The features of a hard face drift in and out of his unfocused view. You promised. This was supposed to be settled between us. This isn't a run, it's a favor. So I don't fill the baby's arm with black tar to pay for the disloyalty. Blurred images flash. Cole tied up in the back of a truck. Cole breaking the zip tie holding his arms. Cole kicking out the back glass and reaching through. Sounds of gunshots echo. Cole's eyes snap open. It was all in his head. He's alone, lying in the tiny shadow created by the truck with its hood raised. He sits up, holding his injured shoulder. He pushes up on one knee, staggers back against the blood-splattered truck. A large bullet hole through the front windshield. Both side windows and the rear compartment window are gone. Cole grabs the door handle to pull himself up, but it burns his hand and he falls. He fights to stand, barely conscious. He pulls a bandana from his pocket and uses it to open the truck door. Interior truck, day. A split dashboard. Fast food litter, blood. A cheap rosary hangs from the rear view mirror. Cole collapses into the seat. Keys are still in the ignition. He cranks it. The starter sputters. No gas. A bone dry plastic cup rests in the cup holder. Cole grabs it. Exterior, truck, day. The windshield fluid tank and the radiator are empty. Cole lowers the cup and pisses into it. It's a pathetic trickle. He raises the cup to his mouth. He takes a deep breath and sips, spits the piss out immediately, choking, wiping his mouth. He opens the truck's passenger door and picks up a bloody handgun from the floorboard. He fondles the pistol, thinking. He points it at his temple. Flashback, mirage. Cole, oh, come on, dinner. A floral dress blowing softly in the wind, fading until it's transparent. Lexi, 19, petite, perfect skin. She slaps at his face, playfully. She giggles as he blocks her and he bumps his temple with the gun. She's not there. He puts the gun barrel in his mouth, the whine of an engine. Cole looks into the horizon, sees only waves of heat distorting the line of the sand, but a horn blares. Cole scrambles for the backpack on the floor. He unzips it. It's full of tied off balloons. He trips to the other side of the truck and uses the pistol to dig in the sand. Frantic, panicked, too dehydrated to sweat. A pair of boots stop just short of the hole. The polished toes reflect the gold sun. Dalton. You got that? Senior Patrol Agent Dalton. As the man talks, more hazy images. Flashback, mirage. A border agent grabs Lexi. Lexi falls into the sand, bloody and beaten. Cole shakes hands with a man in gold-toed boots. Cole rubs his eyes. The boots are still there, but they are military boots. A hand holds out a water canteen. Cole reaches for it. It's real. He grabs it and sucks the water down. Easy, son. Pace yourself. Senior Patrol Agent Dalton, 50. His face the canvas of a life in the sun that reflects off his dark glasses. Cole slows down, but he empties the canteen. Dalton eases closer, checking Cole's shoulder wound. Cole focuses his eyes on Dalton's name tag. If you think I'm a mirage, you must have some powerful guilt. Dalton hikes back to his vehicle and retrieves a first aid kit. He ties a makeshift pressure bandage on the wound. Seen worse. What do you say to a, co a little cold air? Dalton helps Cole to his feet. He's unsteady. He staggers toward an official Hummer with Dalton's help. Dalton loads him in the Hummer, adjusts the vent to blow cool air on him. Cole closes his eyes. Dalton swaggers back to the hole, 
pulls the strap on the partially buried backpack and unearths it. A smile as he unzips it and sees the contents. He slides it over his shoulder and heads back to the Hummer. Interior Hummer, day. Compulsively neat. A pen and a notepad are tucked in with a bolted-in laptop. A rabbit's foot hangs on the rearview mirror. Dalton tosses the backpack on the rear floorboards and climbs inside. He and Cole lock eyes. Found a couple of dead drug runners back a ways. Real scum. Looks like they shot each other over what was in that pack. Sound about right? How did I take a bullet and wind up in your car? Jumped you at a bar. Brought you out here to get rid of the body. Why would you do that? Because I was a stupid kid once. Got in over my head and nobody offered me a way out. Dalton steers the Hummer towards civilization. Cole surveys the cab, a clip-on air freshener, a radio. What happens next? Take you to a doctor, get you patched up, put you on a bus, report you dead. Lay low, a couple of years, they stop looking. The smack? Funds my program. How many? What? How many kids you got now? What's it to you, as long as you're one of them? A dozen. Maybe a couple more. Circumstances have to be right, but I do what I can. If I was lying, you'd be cuffed in the back, not riding shotgun. The cartel must want you dead. Nah, I help them with their little mule whores. American girls, they draw less suspicion, and they're a lot more friendly. Helps get them through. Cole unplugs the radio mic, fire in his eyes. You ever help any of those girls? Doesn't work out that way. Cole is on Dalton before he can react, strangling him with the mic cord. Struggling, Dalton swerves the Hummer and picks up speed. He swings for Cole's injured shoulder and misses. Desperate fingers claw for the cord that fall in. Cole drags Dalton's foot off the gas pedal. Exterior, desert, day. The Hummer stops. Cole climbs out of the passenger side. He drags Dalton out of the driver's side around to the passenger side of the car. He takes Dalton's pistol and cuffs Dalton to the front bull bar. Opening the rear door, Cole snags the backpack. Dalton comes around. Why would you do that? Because my sister's a stupid kid. No one ever offered her a way out. People might look the other way over drug scum, but you kill a federal agent, you get the death penalty. I'm not going to kill you. Open. Cole holds Dalton's weapon to his face. Dalton clamps his lips together. Last chance. Open. Dalton's lips clamp tighter. Cole shoots Dalton in the ankle. His mouth opens in agony, and Cole shoves a balloon inside. Swallow! Dalton holds the balloon on his tongue and stares at Cole, defiant. I put a few more rounds in that leg, they'll cut it off. Swallow! Cole points the gun inches from the bullet hole. Be careful of those teeth, bitch. Nick a balloon, you might get dead. Coughing and gagging as Dalton tries to swallow. Cole fishes a bottle of water out of an ice chest in the back of the Hummer. He makes his way back to the passenger side and picks up another balloon, opens the water and sips. Open. He taps Dalton's leg with the gun barrel. Your choice. Dalton opens his mouth. Cole stuffs the balloon inside. Just trying to get the hang of it. A couple more, you get a sip of water. Open. They'll be looking for me when I don't report in. Yeah, they will. Cole stuffs another balloon in his mouth and gives him a sip of water. Pick up the pace. We've got a schedule. You should be good at swallowing by now. As Cole speaks, hazy images flash. Flashback, mirage. Male hands on the back of a woman's head. Lexi gags down a balloon. A dirty bathroom stall. Woman sobbing. Long shadows fall into dry cracks of blood-soaked sand next to Dalton's ankle. He's unconscious. The shadow of a man stands over him. A diesel engine chortles closer. A set of gold-toed boots on the running board. Cole waits, Dalton's pistol tucked in the waistband of his pants. He holds an unsheathed military knife. Let me see her. Do it. A thug opens the rear passenger door. Lexi slips out. Her baby cries. Come to me. Lexi staggers across the sand. 
The blanket-covered baby carrier weighs her down. The man trains his gun on the baby carrier. This isn't what we agreed to. It's a favor for disloyalty. My sister and my niece go free. Get in the car. Follow the GPS. Don't stop until you get to the highway. What's to stop me from shooting both of them? Cole kneels by the unconscious Dalton and pushes the knife against his throat. Greed? This double-crossing agent has your hair wet. You shoot any of us. He doesn't live to tell you where he put it. Lexi takes another step toward the car. And another. She opens the rear driver's door and puts the baby carrier inside. She climbs in the driver's side and starts the humming. The thug takes aim at Lexi through the windshield. Let her go. Tracks in the sand as it pulls away. We're even now. I go my way, you go yours. It's over. Go get the agent. The thug grabs the agent's legs, dragging him towards the truck. You're a stupid kid. You're going to die in the desert while I chase down your sister. I'll leave that on Dalton. He still gets the needle. It's not from you. The man puts his hand on the door handle. Cole pulls Dalton's pistol from his waistband. He shoots the man, spraying the side of the truck with blood. The thug drops Dalton's legs to return fire too late. Cole fires one through the windshield. It breaks out the rear glass. The thug takes it in the chest. He staggers forward, gun drawn. He gets off a shot before Cole's second effort explodes into his skull. Cole jerks from a shot in the biceps of his injured side. He staggers toward Dalton, wiping the gun clean with his shirt. He squeezes Dalton's hand around the gun, sticks his finger on the trigger, and fires another round into the thug. Cole takes the thug's gun, fires a round into Dalton's gun. He wipes the gun down and places it back into the thug's hand. Cole grabs at the truck, dizzy. The desert spin. Cole falls to the sand. Exterior, road, day. The Border Patrol Hummer sits on the side of the road. Interior, Hummer, day. Lexi unfolds a piece of paper with her name on it. The chirp of a siren. Flashing blue lights reflect through the rearview mirror. She stuffs the note in her bra. Exterior, desert, day. The long shadow of the truck covers the cracks in blood-soaked sand. The windows shot out. A baby cries. Cole's eyes flutter, and he coughs. Lexi? Flutter of a floral dress in his vision. He smiles. These are the guys that hijacked us, and the court agent who stopped to help. Is my brother. A marshal bends over Cole, checks his pulse. He's alive. Get some water. The marshal drizzles water on Cole's face. His eyes flutter open. The marshal hands him the bottle of water. He sucks it down. I'll go easy on that, son. I'm going to get you to the hospital. Get you patched up. Answer a few questions, then you and your sister should be able to get on your way. The marshal helps Cole to his feet. They stagger toward the marshal's jeep. Lexi throws her arms around him and squeezes. Even as bad as it hurt, he manages to smile. The marshal helps Cole into the passenger side of the jeep. Pulling away from the shot-up truck, the jeep makes tracks across the desert. Bathe up.